Hello everybody and welcome to Friday Night Stand Firm. I'm Jim McMahon and with me is Gorilla Metal. Hello, hello, it is great. What? Whoa, hey, whoa, what's going on here? Wow, I'm sorry everyone, the uh, the booth is currently being invaded. Uh, Mr. Calcium Kaz seems to have something to say. We are here in Columbus, Ohio, but he's pulling the mic away from me and God fuck, all right, fine, just say what you gotta say, man. So, we are where we are. Do you know what? I was going to come on here. I was going to be all calm. I was going to be all collected. I was going to show my ex-tag team partner, McNaughton, a little bit of mercy. But that's not me, is it? That's not where I come from. That's not what I practice in Calcium Kaz's Dojo Pain. We practice no mercy. What we do is we cut away the chaff. We don't tolerate the weak. When somebody decides to not be your tag team partner anymore, they become your enemy. And the enemy deserves no mercy. So before you get down and give me 50 press-ups on your knuckles, you beg my forgiveness. You look me in the eye and you say to me, Calcium, I'm really sorry I let you down for months on end and I allowed many other superstars the opportunity for greatness on their own while I held you back. Calcium, I'm sorry I used all your Factor 50 sun cream. Calcium, I'm sorry I'm so ginger. I'm sorry I haven't got a soul. And I'm sorry I made you listen to the Proclaimers day in, day out. You are without a doubt the worst Jimmy Cranky cosplayer I have ever come across in my life. And you are not the son of Sean Connery. He is not your dad. Don't think that victory against me the other day means anything. So you sat up in Castle McFucknuts thinking you're the big bollocks. You think that means anything? That means nothing. I decide when the battle is over. I decide when the war is won. That was just the opening shots and you got lucky. I'll be glad to get this giant ginger Scottish albatross off my back and the best way to do that well in the words of your mum Connor McLeod there can be only one and I assure you McFuck Nugget, it will be me now I would have normally passed the microphone over to our manager and my wife Wendy at this point to say a few words but she seems to have gone out again in fact she seems to have gone out a lot lately and uh, I don't really know where she's gone she's not answering her phone either Well, well, thank you, Mr. Calcium. And he's just stormed out of the booth after that unbelievable stuff. You know, we saw their friendly match a few nights ago, or no, a few days ago, and, uh, you know, Calcium did not look so hot in it. McNaughton coming away with the win. And, uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I, I don't think Calcium took it too well, and I think we're going to see more from those two, possibly even later tonight, because Calcium is stalking the backstage area right now looking for McNaughton. But anyway, that's it from them right now, and we are going down to a match. We've got W.R. Spenny versus Damn Dave in a match. Both guys won their respective world-class matches back in the 1980s. Uh, well, not really. but uh, So now we're going to put them in a match together and see which one of these top-tier guys we think we know the answer. It's fucking Dave uh, can come out on top and uh, make a run for it in the JFW. Yeah, very interesting. Man, I can't believe that from Calcium, huh? Yeah, unbelievable. Crazy, crazy stuff. <laughs> Looks like there's no more Scotch milk here. Yeah, he's talking like they're broken up. I didn't think it was going to be that bad. It's just a friendly match, you know? And, uh, okay, sore, you know, sore loser uh, Calcium, I guess. <laughs> But uh, these uh, the insinuations about Wendy and McNaughton's relationship notwithstanding, uh, he did seem a little out of sorts about a lack of presence. That might get into his head. I hope we've got some uh, extra talent backstage that can keep those two guys cool. We might have to book them in the ring just to keep just to keep uh, just to keep everything legal. But uh, anyway, that's for later. And right now, here's W R Spenny, and as he awaits the legendary. Dave. Dave. <laughs> oh, what a specimen. And his Dave. <laughs> Weighing in at 264 pounds, Dan Dave. And there he is, Dave. Dave. Raising his hands in victory, he knows that he's got to go through Mr. Leg Day himself, W.R. Spenny, 
But with Dave's pedigree, with Dave's experience, and with Dave's success, it's hard to see a world in which that doesn't happen for Dave. Damn. <laughs> oh, kicks. Um, Hello, just to actually answer out of necessity. <laughs> but I thought Rhino was pretty good because, you know, he runs down, he does the go, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah, it was, that, was, that was a good call. I like it. And here we go, two big men. Whoop. And uh, Dave looking to play some mind games. <laughs> Did not work out to his advantage at all. <laughs> Dave, oh, he's just luring Spenny in. Nope. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, so uh, Dave, Dave uh, ooh, ooh, uh, uh, avoiding the uh, early RKO attempt there. Yeah. And Dave now with a punch. And that was a pretty good punch by Dave, but Spenny's still in control here. Dave. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, attacking the arm of Dave. Yeah, Spenny just looking to wear down. He looks to have a little bit of a size advantage on Dave. <laughs> yes, Ansi, yeah, there you go. There. What? I don't actually remember what Spenny's old entrance was. Uh, well, you, you'll remember later. Yeah, yeah <laughs> fair enough. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <sighs> <Brilliant. Dave. laughs> you'll think you're a lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> you'll think thank you're an you. absolute lunatic. Dale, thank you for the self-promotion. Look what my look what my tongue has done for Dave in the JFW. <laughs> Why the fuck do you keep calling me Dave like that? Well, because I watch this. I watch this. <laughs> Let me explain this in detail. You see, there's this American stoner who who, who spends six hours a week talking about fake wrestling where the AI is doing it, and there's a bondage guy whose name is Damned Dave, and uh, he thought that the big Dave on his back was so memorable that if he just said Dave enough, he'd get the guy over, and it worked within two episodes. <laughs> Does that clear it up for you, Dave? <laughs> yes. Oh, God. Oh, well, speaking of Dave, things looking bad for him. Spenny looking to dump Dave in the damn ring. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is, big superplex on Dave. Oh, oh, Dave in real trouble. Spenny, and what a hell of a competitor in JFW. Gotta is, say, yeah. if you just drop the goat face thing, he'd probably be great. I just noticed he wears cleats in the ring. That can't be legal. <laughs> no, I was thinking maybe you should change it and just make him rugby themed rather than actual <laughs> rugby player. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right, Lemon. <laughs> Spenny is Welsh, yeah. He's a, he's a Welsh rugby player. Hence, hence yeah, the yeah, thick yeah. thighs. <laughs> oh, he was going for oh, the spear! The but counter! Dave's counter where it looks like he got speared and then two seconds later gets a DVT off. It's really <laughs> weird. Only to be, only to be uh, uh, bested by his finisher, which I always think is him getting hurt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fair, fair enough, Don. Yeah, he's going to be part of the crew, isn't he? Um, we, but I haven't made Dio and I haven't made Dio and Art yet. <laughs> oh yeah, Art was supposed to send me something a long time ago, but he never did. Oh, dirty demon. But I mean, I could literally just use that naked model of himself that he has on his website. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, we love another bezel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's bad about Dave is this fucking outfit clipping through his, well, his tits clipping through his outfit. Yeah, his, his love handles. 
his love handles just a little bit just a little bit of seepage there look we've all experienced that at some point in our life am I right <laughs> Dave but again the, that's the thing about Dave it's not about the skill it's not about the appearance it's just about the name you gave him the name Dave because you wanted something memorable and unique and legendary and that's what we've got and that's what we have to that's what we have to cherish about this wrestler Dave <laughs> Oh, Did he really answer? I don't know anything about her. <laughs> Dave. Yeah, Dave is better than the entire AEW roster anyway. Of that, I have no doubt. Well, I mean, they do have Orange Cassidy. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, Dave, this is a poor choice. Poor oh. choice <laughs> of, oh, of celebration there. <laughs> oh, yeah, he does kind of look like a Dark Order. Oh, my boy, Johnny Silver's in the Dark Order. Mm. He's, he's one, of my, one of my closest wrestling friends. Mm. Let's hope he doesn't get called out for anything he's done. <laughs> uh, I think he's good, which was, I was a little concerned about him, not going to lie. He's kind of a he's kind of a younger like he's a I mean he's pretty jacked he's shorter than I am but he's pretty ja I mean, he's really fucking jacked but he's definitely kind of a party boy <laughs> so I was that there was a few moments where I was like oh god I hope not but he he seems like a really good, guy. good. Spears coming here look boom yeah there it is Dave in trouble now will Spenny go for the pin he does can Dave kick out Dave do it Dave. Dave. No, <laughs> Dave defeated for the first time? Yeah, no. No, oh, no, okay. <laughs> Maybe I just, in my head, it just feels right that he's undefeated. <laughs> anyway, WR Spenny, another big win. A dominant performance, and Dave goes back to the drawing board. <laughs> indeed he does. Dominant stuff indeed from Spenny. Oh. Vicious headbutt there from Dave, wasn't it? What a spear to win it. Absolutely, and that's going to do it for Dave. And WR Spenny is, is your winner. Both tree trunks and torso are leaving here victorious. <laughs> Very impressive victory. All right. Well, that is our opening match. But we had fireworks early, earlier from Calcium Kaz calling out McNaughton. And uh, I am getting word that a match is being booked as we speak. We'll have to cut back to that later. But it sounds like we are going to get in-ring action. Round two, Calcium Cavs versus McNaughton later tonight. Can't wait to see what goes down there. First up, though, we've got Ghoulface Killer, your Plim Pom Cruiserweight champion of the world, versus the Friday Night Fuckboy, <laughs> Le Bread Mas. Fresh off of a mighty win on uh, World Class Wednesday, and uh, looking to pin the champ and say his loser days are over and that he belongs in the conversation of people who are not the worst at wrestling. <laughs> oh, and the champ's coming out first, isn't he? Bloody hell. Yeah, well, it's not a non-title, so he can do whatever he wants in this one. Yeah. And there he is, 
the probably the the hottest Lord, belt in the Lord, JFW. All the matches Until for it have been phenomenal. Us. All of the and runs up to those end. matches have been great. Everyone end. loves the Flim Flom Loserweight division. But right now, Coolface Killa has defended that title successfully twice now, and looks like he is going to be one of our most successful, longest reigning champions. And we'll see what the build to SummerSlam is for Ghoulface Killa. But for now, he has that title. Yep, thank you very much. And <laughs> thank you very much, Unseen Walker, for staying fantastic for 23 months. With Prime, glorious, what better way to rush to the end of seven Beaver pregnancies and with some JFW action. Thank you very much, Unseen Walker, for staying fantastic for, well, nearly six Beaver pregnancies, but... Who's counting? Oh. Thank was you I, very was much. I talking was I talking over the bot the entire time? Yeah, unfortunately he was he was I yeah. can't hear it. No. Yeah, it's a bit of a shit because I obviously Just uh, honk the horn, Jimmy, whenever the bot's going off. I don't oh, okay, know. I'll do that. I'll do that. Yeah, because <laughs> I didn't want to interrupt you because you were doing quite well. Uh, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> I didn't look I didn't look at chat. Usually sometimes I see it and then I stop. <laughs> and there he is. Oh, great entrance. He's fired up tonight, and I think he might get in this ring and have a match. The question is, will he go back to what we all expect him to be, or will he in the champion? That is a all pass for LeBred Mask after just one victory. But he's called himself out, and he believes in himself, and that's sometimes all you need. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> He's on a roll. He's on a baguette, actually, but yeah, he is. <laughs> oh, very good. <laughs> Looking confident, presumably. Can't see his face. He's got a fucking bread mask on. <laughs> his opponents are toast. Hello, Moradan. Ooh. One win in a row, yeah. <laughs> Oh, with the asphyxiation with the mask. <laughs> yeah, he's on a clock, isn't he? The uh, bread mask. He's got to. He's got to win on these. He's got to win. That's. <laughs> Why is he hey, doing? hey, you know, whatever it takes to motivate yourself these days. <laughs> oh, dear. And if there's a if there's a COVID outbreak backstage in the JFW, you can't blame the Le, bread mask for it. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> He couldn't play a rebel. <laughs> well, that's just because he's mortal and will die of old age at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Fat Fat can still play a rebel. He's only on the right. That's that's not fireable. I hope I get to retire him rather than he gets killed, because then he can retire at the JFW, can't he? It'll be all right. <laughs> like if he gets a minus strength. Then he gets rid Well, yeah. probably not. <laughs> He's probably just gonna have to get killed. <laughs> I'll keep him at strength three. <laughs> is, is there? Oh, and here we go. Big, big Tobey, big suicide coming up. Let's see. Oh, baby. I think he, I think he does a. No, he does. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Full on uh, dive right out there. Yeah. Nails the bread mask. Um. Does uh? Won't he age out eventually? Well, yeah, I mean, but unlikely to. They're not, don't, I don't think they have aging in Rebel. Not, um, not the players, not, not the players, just the coaches. Did you just say that he's unlikely to age out because they physically don't have it at all? Because I'd say it's a little more guaranteed than unlikely in that situation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, then. It's guaranteed he won't age out because they don't have aging on. <laughs> He might age out by me aging out. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> oh, an RKO! Oh, look nowhere. at that! Yeah, absolutely, out of nowhere, and he's feeling it now. Draws the line in the sand, and with that momentum, he does a snapmare. <laughs> <laughs> and then picks him up and looks at him, and... Oh, does this look? Oh, Ooh. Right. Pretty good stuff from the Bread Mask. Uh-oh, but can't get Ghoulface up. Doesn't bode well for a uh, under 205 division. <laughs> yeah, 
Is this it? Oh, gotta do better than that to pin a lead but I have mask. He might be shit, but he's not that shit. Well. <laughs> well. Okay, yeah, he's pretty shit. <laughs> Oh, now Ghoulface hyping himself up a little bit, but gave Breadmask a lot of time on the ground there. And sure enough, Breadmask counters out of it. And, whoa, boy, where is he running? <laughs> I guess he did dodge the chop. It seemed like a quarter-mile run to get 10 feet, though. <laughs> <laughs> Just the one count. The Breadmask going to have to start thinking about maybe a uh, Pum Pum Plex. Plumplex. <laughs> Sends Ghoulface into the corner, but Ghoulface right out of it with an elbow. Oh, oh look at that. Backstabber, though. Oh, and now, oh, Ghoulface wisely rolling outside the ropes. And Lebred Mask doing nothing about it. Nothing at all. <laughs> and gets school oh, Bread Mask. I think uh, I think what happened there is uh, Ghoulface rolled out and stopped moving, and the lack of vision out of that mask, if you don't move at all, Bread Mask has no way of finding you. <laughs> okay. Brain worms. <laughs> Absolutely, Mordam. He's kind of like a T-Rex in that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a frog, isn't it? And, he, he, and he's, he's the bread mask, so yeah, he's like a frog. Brilliant. That seems nationalist. No, it's a frog. It's the the T-Rex in Jurassic Park sees things through movement-based vision because of the frog that it was. Uh, it got the DNA from. Right. That's how. That's how they knew that it was. Its vision was movement-based, not because. They knew how a fucking T-Rex's vision worked. No, that's actually not true. That's actually not true. That's how they know that they were uh, able to change sex and reproduce. Uh, or reproduce asexually, I forget. I forget which one it was. Yes. Uh, the, uh, the vision based on movement thing is, uh, is in the very first scene of the movie. Grant mentions that about, uh, about it. Yes, I but believe. it's bollocks. Yeah, I'm not saying it's not bollocks. A lot of the movie is bollocks, Jim. It is a science fiction movie. For, for well, starters. yes, but in Jurassic Park, the book, <laughs> that's how they know. Oh, okay. Yeah, so fair, that's why fair it enough. happens. That's why it happens in the film like that. But then to explain uh, it... They explain it further in the book. I, I don't remember that from the book. Yes. Uh, I don't know if I've admitted this openly, and I probably should... I've gotten over this fear, but I spent about 25 years of my life with a paralyzing fear of dinosaurs. That is a real fear that actually exists, and I had it, where if I saw any sort of realistic-looking dinosaur, I would freeze and not know what to do and have a panic attack. <laughs> this is genuine. I'm, I, I'm not even kidding, yes. Wow. I once was at a biotech uh, conference, and they had one of those fucking walking dinosaur things for something <laughs> and I almost dropped a hundred and fifty thousand dollar robot. Oh my god. Oh this is it Oh Yeah. That is an awful <laughs> Yeah fair enough that's all. <laughs> that I just awful. misremember because we listen uh, as part of my as part of my uh, getting out of that phase of of, of getting out of getting over that fear I did uh, listen to the audiobook of Jurassic Park like two, three times in the last couple of years, and it really helped me get over it. <laughs> now you're talking shit. No, I'm no, I'm I'm not. I'm a hundred percent not. <laughs> you scared of Barney the yeah. dinosaur. Thank you, Benzel. I know everyone's like, well, you know, they're not, they don't exist, right? I'm like, that doesn't matter. I also have a mild phobia of birds in the way that they like jitter and move. So I think yeah. that's where it all started. Oh yeah, that, that's, like, that seems reasonable, yeah, to be fair. Yeah. Like the idea that there could be a thing that could eat me that moves like a fucking bird does with their like weird, like never looking at anything with their dead eyes. Like, yeah, it fucking creeps me out, man. <laughs> yeah, anyway, that, back to the match. The Friday Night <laughs> Fuckboy is hanging in there with the champ, but it's looking bad for him. He's gonna have to turn it around. Oh, and here we go. Could we get that shooting star press? 
from Ghoulface Killer. <laughs> oh, he's jumped up. <laughs> oh, the frag mask kips up. And Blueface didn't see it, misses with the moonsault. <laughs> Amazing stuff by LeBred Mask. <laughs> and look at this, could he steal one here? He didn't even move No, the just way. the two just count. Missed. Unbelievable stuff. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you for that message, McNaughton. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, shit. Whoa. Oh, what a suplex. This is, he's given a very good account of himself, hasn't he, LeBron? Yeah, Bread Mask really turning things around. You know what? I got to tell you, I got to believe a lot of what Bread Mask's turnaround here has been has been thanks to uh, Gorilla Mezzo, me, uh, for really motivating him uh, with all this uh, uh, negative press I've been giving him. Really got, you know, put a bug up his ass. And uh, happy to do it again. <laughs> Not one more career fixed by the tongue of Gorilla Metza. <laughs> Way, look at oh, that. Oh, look at that. This could be it. He's got to get that pin in, but he's a little staggered. Oh, it's going to be close. He's done and it. he's done it. Le Bret Mask has pinned the champion. Just like that, the entire Plim Plum Cruiserweight division is completely turned on its head. No more talk of Ghoulface Killer More Damn 3. We've got Le Bret Mask climbing up that ladder, and I cannot wait to see where this takes us. Unbelievable. He shocked the world. Absolutely. Congratulations. Le Bread Mask, his manager Tom Smith is in the audience right now. He says merci bonsoir, and that is a win for Le Bread Mask. <laughs> oh, oui, 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 plum plum plou. Yeah, GFK. But you know, maybe I think when it comes to the, uh, you know, when the big match is, is when, yeah, it's when he shines, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Again, <laughs> he is not. He has yet to uh, he has yet to lose his title when it's been on the line, so you can't take that away. And he has lost several matches like this, but that's a conversation for when that title goes on the line. Right now, tonight is Friday night, and that means the Friday night fuckboy is on top, and he's heading out on the town. <laughs> oh yeah. Plim plum plushy, very good, very good. Very good. <laughs> oh, and look at oh, this! Oh boy! And finally, Mr. Jim McMahon is going to finally make his presence felt. And I gotta believe, after just the JFW universe has been screaming about this bullshit from last Sunday, with Jimmy Fantastic stealing a spot, winning a title he had no business getting a shot at outside of his own division. I'm sure Jimps is coming out here to drop the hammer and set things right. Let's go ringside and see what he's got to say. Well, God damn it, I'm out here because Jimmy Fantastic somehow beat the shit out of Tarsus backstage in, uh, some thing. <laughs> Money in the ass. And then he disguised himself as Tarsus. He came out and he made EAB tap. Well, God damn it! I think that's fantastic. Well done, Jimmy. You get to be the champ. Don't listen to what all these assholes say. You're the greatest. You went out there. You made that son of a bitch robot tap. And if there were anyone else was as smart as you, they would have done the same. You beat the shit out of that fat bastard. And now, god damn it, you're the man. You get to be the champ forever. That's just amazing. I can't believe it. And I'll tell you what. Tarsus, if you dare to show your face around here, or dare to put your hands on Jimmy Fantastic, then you're fired! This is unbelievable! Now he's gonna have to talk for another two minutes with nothing else to say! I can't wait to hear what he uh, improvises with, Jim. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to find out either. 
This I I can you believe that he would have the gall to come out here? He's just posing in the ring now. He has the gall to come out here and just say everything that just happened, just spit in all the faces of all the fans everywhere. Uh, like this is unbelievable. All of the competitors in the JFW have done their jobs honorably, and he's out here just saying that behavior is okay and letting Jim keep the title. I I can't abide by this, Jim. This is too much. For me. <laughs> well, he did it, though, didn't he? You know, he, 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 as, as Mr. Jim Smith got. Well, yes, I'm not gonna shut up. I'm gonna carry on talking. And look, at the end of the day, Jimmy Fantastic, he won. And if you think you could beat him, then you can challenge him. But not you, Tarsis, you son of a bitch. And not you, Extra Arms, but you can... You, you, uh, that was pathetic. Tapping out to a half-crab. Unbelievable. You shouldn't show your face in the JFW ever again. Disgusting behavior. Not on my watch. God damn it. I, I'm just shocked, Jim. Shocked. Shocked at what we've seen. What a black mark on the sport this is just a horrible horrible day in wrestling history well and you say that but he's got a point he won didn't he no one else did it jimmy fantastic uh, did he, it. he won but he's not even gonna do any sort of backstage investigate oh well at least we've got a real match coming up to feel good about i see it's almost like he put this palate cleanser in to shut up the voice of the jfw universe <laughs> Wow. Anyway, I'm just shocked that he's not even like doing any sort of backstage investigation as to what happened with EAP. Because you and I both know that what happened on Sunday night was not the Extra Arms bought champion of the past. That was something different. And really? I just cannot abide by handing Jimmy the title under such dubious circumstances and not even looking in to any sort of performance issues with the AB. But he made him tap, didn't he? Maybe Jimmy Fantastic's just that good. Maybe Stan Firm is just better than Claw. I, I, I just... <laughs> well, I mean, you, you, you make a point, Lam, as we're looking at one of the best competitors on Stan Firm, <laughs> I understand the quality differences between the two shows. And let's go ringside now. I'm just gonna have to. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't need to bitch about this all night. We'll go ringside right now for Scaramezzo <laughs> versus Cocky, and out he comes, the King of Kings, the game, Scaramezzo. <laughs> it may be almost exactly 420 where I am, <laughs> but he did not forget his match. And let's see what he's got for Cocky, losing his first bid against Cocky a few weeks ago. I'm sure he's got a win on his mind tonight. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure too, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't think you could have hide that up more. But he's not very good, is he? He's, lo he's a bit of a loser, is Skurumet, so hard to get any hype. But, you know, he's fighting Cocky, who's, who's also lost a bunch. This is basically a battle of the also runs. Yeah, if you ever if you ever wanted to talk about having to take losses on your card like Scurametto, you look at every single one of those losses. They're all to this newly crowned king by by Jim Mr. Jim's McMahon himself, Jimmy Min Max Tastic. And you gotta go back and you gotta wonder if any of those wins are even legit. The way this this whole thing is played out, all of this conduct is just completely suspect to me. What I do know is that man right there gave us the greatest backstage brawl of all time <laughs> in his victory over the Golden Figure. And everything he's done, he's conducted himself honorably, even if he's had to take some losses along the way. So that's the kind of competitor that I want leading a show like this, not someone who's just going to get handed a belt. And I'll, I'd even take Cocky here with with you I know, know you disregarding the whole urine stained <laughs> diaper thing, I'd still say a guy like Cocky who can show up, do his job, and never once miss that piece of gum that he spits out of his mouth. Those are champions in my book, not someone who just gets handed a title and then just given carte blanche to do whatever he wants he from the owner. He didn't get handed it. He made extra arms book tap. And you can't argue with that. That happened. He made him tap in the middle of the ring. Everyone saw it. A, 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 you know, a violent half crab. That happened. Yeah, everyone sees a lot of things, Jim. That doesn't mean that that was on the level. Well, who are you to say? 
Jim Sm Mr. Jim McSmart is supposedly investigated himself because that's why he was so uh, so vehement that uh, there was nothing wrong with it. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure he'll uh, release his findings to the public. All right, hang on. Big moment here. Will he hit? He did. He got it every time. Rocky <laughs> nails that y'all. Unbelievable stuff. <laughs> All right, and two great competitors in the JFW, and we are off. Yep, two great competitors in the JFW, and uh, Skurumetsu in the other corner. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Sheila. Go on. The El Paso Screwjob, McNaughton. That's what people are calling it, the El Paso Screwjob. Some people are saying it, obviously yeah, not me. I, I do agree, Jim. It absolutely was a screw job, and I'm very glad you've finally seen the light and agreed with me on that one. <laughs> and moving forward, maybe we can find an accord for how we handled this in the booth. But right now, I'm just happy to know that both you and I agree that what happened in El Paso, Texas on Sunday at Money in the Ass was in fact a screw job. And what the fuck is Cocky doing this girl right now? <laughs> God only knows. <laughs> <laughs> I do not agree for the record. <laughs> Kaki really taking it to Skuro here. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, beautiful stalling suplex. Yeah, absolutely. Now, uh, Kaki getting that, <laughs> rubbing that diaper up against. Yep. Uh, gonna, he's gonna pay for it with a couple elbows though here. It looks like Skrull's <laughs> gonna be able to fight his way out of this one. And there it is, big hip toss. And he has recovered. Can he take advantage though? Vicious neck crank, that's what you want to see. Oh, oh. Although all you can really see is Skrull's ass, because he doesn't seem aware of where the hard can is. <laughs> I would have blamed Cocky for that one for the way he fell, but uh, point taken. <laughs> Oh, oh Skuro thinking top mm -hmm. rope. This hasn't worked out for him a lot in the past. Gonna do that moonsault. Spins it around. Yep, <laughs> yep, sure enough. Every fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful moonsault. And he just never gets to hit it. <laughs> yeah, he's the Kurt Angle of the gym. Oh, but look at, look at that counter. Beautiful spin around DDT. And now stomping on that back of the head there. Skuro really trying to take charge of this match. <laughs> Couple punches and kicks. Oh, and he's looking for a package pile driver. Nope, pack or whatever that is, slam. Okay. Yeah. Impressive maneuver, what a maneuver. Yeah, but cocky right back out of it. Oh, but can't get the bigger man up that time. Oh no, but the, the spear countered with the elbow and then Skuro ducks the lariat and gets a big lariat of his own. Huge. And savagely slams his head against the ring. And goes for a quick pin. I think a bit hopeful here. Yeah, Very just hopeful. the one count. Very hopeful by Skuro. Maybe he was confused and thought he was in a match that started an hour earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Crock myself up sometimes, I do. <laughs> Oh, driving his head into the turnbuckle there. And he's all business tonight. Had a little bit of a slow start, but he seems to have found his footing. This is usually where things go very poorly for him, though. <laughs> yeah, he's dominating, actually, pretty much at the moment. Well, yep, then here we go. <laughs> There's the, the arm drag counter. Oh, no, and Skrull countering on his own. <laughs> oh, I don't think you've been watching much of JFW if you think that, McNaughton. <laughs> oh, and uh, Cocky looking for the count up, but he had to do a little bit more damage there. Whoa, he just gets punched and kicked in the face. Yeah, started, started celebrating a bit too early. Another one of these package slams. Yeah. Package sidewalk slam, maybe side slam. I don't know. Something. Oh, he's oh going for God the damn it! Now he's gonna try it again. Definitely gonna get the knees. <laughs> no, he hits it. Unbelievable stuff. Lands it. Goes for the pin. 
<laughs> just the one count. That's, all, that's 300 pounds of man landing on you on a, on a, uh, on a moon salt. Only a one count. <laughs> Koki's a badass, what can you say? Yeah, man, take nothing away from Mr. Perfect Cocky. Oh, Whoa. God, boy. Oh, skirt. <laughs> <laughs> I think his edible just kicked in, Jim. <laughs> sure does look like it. Oh, he counts. Oh, the big <laughs> super kick, though. Yeah. Maybe thinking about that pop up power bomb. No. No. Instead of doing that, he's just going to toss him Buy up. some more time for. Oh, boy. Uh, looks like we're getting a little bit of turnbuckle uh, brain worms here. <laughs> oh, baby. Here we go, baby. <laughs> Just enough time to let Cocky completely recover and probably hit him as he comes in the ring. <laughs> nope, Cocky decides to rub his cro- Oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. We have, uh, we found all sorts of problems here. And then the bulldog there. Oh, and Skrull's busted open. Oh, man, all these things just went terrible for both of them. Yeah, that was a great, great moonwalk by Asker and that's all. Yeah, he does have a little bit of a, a little bit of a light foot there, I guess. Nope, oh, nope. Can't get cocky up, though. Whoops. Well, can't lift him up. I'm sure it can get him up. <laughs> yeah, I, I've heard that about uh, about Skiro. I bet he could probably get, uh, get an Australian up. Up. <laughs> Oh, maybe not now. <laughs> <laughs> very true, very true. Brutal. <laughs> his magic tongue. Oh, baby. Skuro is known for his tongue in the JFW, besting Jimmy in every single, Jimmy Min Max Tastic, in every single one of their mic battles. He did lose every match, though. But we've already established those matches were basically all asterisks at this point. Nope. Yep. <laughs> oh, no. Now, Cocky busted open here. Oh, oh and there's the pop. Oh, here comes the pop of power bomb. Very oh, close to it. the ropes, though, but right in for the pin. Oh. Just a two count. That pop up used to just put everyone away when he'd hit it. I don't think I've seen him win a match with it in months. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Absolutely. And now here it comes, guaranteed to get Cocky's finisher in one, two, three in the next minute. <laughs> oh, he's happy. He might be Cocky looking. Cocky doing an awful the, uh, lot of celebrating in the ring. He Should might be, be focusing on the opponent. Or maybe he'll just get a three count here. This could be it. No, one. No, just a one count. Oh, it was the Shiva right. stretch you ran into, too, didn't you? The Shiva stretch. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's oh. not what you want your head to be, Skuro. Oh, God, that's no better. But he'll take it for the powerbomb and the pinning attempt. <laughs> Just the two count again. What a brutal match. Yeah, pretty good stuff. This is Again, this is what happens when you put two honorable competitors in the ring in the JFW. You get yourself a hell of a match. It's, uh, you know, it's not all about the egos, Jim. It's not all about just uh, the corporate guy uh, selling T-shirts and, and, and holding the title and looking good for the cameras. It's about in-ring action. And who better than a guy like Skirmetso and a guy like Cocky to provide that level of entertainment for our wonderful audience? Very good. <laughs> oh, oh beautiful good. step around uh, uh, heel kick there. Oh, no, but no one home on the big splash into the corner, and now he's staggered, still fights his way out. And this one, who's going to come away with this one? This is a very, very interesting match. Skrull seems to be kind of dominating in a lot of categories, but he cannot seem to get anything going to finish off Conky. And look at how much blood is on Conky's chest right now. <laughs> yeah, he's actually going. Like <laughs> it looks like fucking shot. Kumite happened or whatever. His heart got ripped out to his chest. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, is Kumite from Bloodsport, or is that the one from, uh, which Blood is the Sport. one from uh, the shitty Indiana Jones? Bloodsport. Kalimar, yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Kumite's Bloodsport, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, either, really, at this stage. <laughs> Oh, 
Wolf fighting oh, back. Everyone just counter after counter from both of these guys. Oh, but here we go. This could be it right here. The sharpshooter locked in. we I don't think we've ever seen this put anyone away. And it doesn't look like we're going to again. <laughs> No, he often he often wins with it in multi-man matches, but has less success with it in in singles yeah. competition. Yeah, fair. Oh, another big look at that per perfect vertical uh, alignment, big suplex. Skura really hurt now, and here comes a pin. This yeah, might be it. Two count, yeah. yeah. Nah, yeah, just the two count. Good call. No oh, and there's the spear. Spear out of nowhere by Skrull. He's pretty fired up now. He might be thinking another pop-up. Doesn't seem to be calling for anything. Nope. Looking for another one of those pump handles. Oh, no, shoulder breaker that time. Yeah. Now he'll be... Goes in for the pin. Now cocky in some trouble here. That's it. Oh! And no! The late kick out! Just the two and a half count. Skrull can't believe it. He's just got to stay on top of him, and there it is. Can he hit this pop-up power bomb to end this match? Sure Looks like he's got it, it, Jim. Ref kind of in the way. There we go. Pop-up power bomb. That's got to be it. Oh, brilliant. Sheila does not. Well, it fear. took took just about everything Skuramezzo had, but just like Lebred Mask, he's finding his winning ways again, and he has defeated Hockey. They have now split their series. I can't wait to see a third match between them to be completely honest with you, because that was a hell of a show. Yeah, fantastic match, and big congrats to Skuro Metzo. Absolutely. Well, my name is Gorilla Metzo. This has been Jim Sweet, man. Thank you all so much <laughs> for joining us tonight. And that is the end of the show, because that had to be a main event match. Right? <laughs> You're very funny, Gorilla Metzo. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not the case. This was just mid-card shenanigans. <laughs> And like I said, I got to believe Mr. Jim McMahon knew he was coming out to deliver some very unpopular news. So he thought he could put on a match of this caliber directly after delivering that news and all would be forgiven. And I got to say, it, it, it kind of worked because I had a hell of a time with that. And I'm OK with sitting through the rest of the show now, because <laughs> look at that man right there. Bloody and victorious after one hell of a fight against Kaki. That is Skurmetso, and he definitely didn't forget his fucking match. <laughs> <laughs> he sure didn't. Oh, next up. Oh, baby, now right, right on the heels of that amazing five-star match, we are going to get another one. We are getting six feet down under against the dressed for business number one contenders in a tag match. And what can you say about both these teams? Dressed for business has been making the case time and again that they deserve a title shot against the fucking rats. But all of a sudden, out of nowhere, summoned from beyond the gray, we have six feet down under coming onto the scene and just winning and winning and winning and now looking to to really put an exclamation point on their very first week in the JFW as a tag team by beating the number one contenders in most people's eyes and hearts. Yes, yeah, explosive entry into the JFW, isn't it, from six feet down under. They've also become the uh, internet champions as well. And uh, yeah, they're, they're, pretty, they're a pretty great team and they're up to uh, up against, yeah, as you say, every, most people's favorite for the uh, Challenging the fucking rats. Six feet ham under. Space feet <laughs> ham under. <laughs> oh dear. And here they come. Six feet down under. Gadenic and Night Demon. What a pairing. The two undead zombies. I guess that's. I mean, I guess that's kind of a redundant <laughs> statement. <laughs> yep. <laughs> One a New Orleans uh, voodoo zombie, the other a uh, broken neck Australian for some reason. <laughs> yeah, quite the pairing. <laughs> yep. But uh, it has uh, it has uh, led to nothing but success thus far. And both these guys had pretty good solo careers going in the JFW. 
So seeing them just take the tag team division by storm is not a really big surprise, but sometimes you get these two hyper talented solo acts and you try and put them into a tag and they just have, you know, no sort of, uh, no, no, no sort of uh, unity or tag team uh, uh, knowledge, kind of like, uh, you know, Scotch Mill for the Unnatural Snackers, just four guys that just seem to be wandering around in their tag matches with no real sense of what, what, what it takes to win a tag match. <laughs> and uh, thus far, we haven't seen that from six feet down under, but now comes their first true challenge, dressed for business, Fant Fox and Lemon is Good, making their way to the ring and they look like they are ready for a fight tonight. <laughs> yeah. yeah, very up for it, isn't he, Lennon there? Pretty, pretty cool and so is Fan Fox and a dress for business, ready for a fight against these two undead zombies. Oh my god, fucking J5. Don't know whether I should delete this comment from J5. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Not in the chat yeah. on the fucking Discord, Jesus Christ. Oh, what's up? It just J5 put, wrote a pretty fucking bad thing in the shed up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, I will do. I'll delete it. Yep. Right, thank you. Yeah, that's a good good shout, Bezel. Right, if in doubt, delete. It was bad. <laughs> well, it wasn't that bad, but, you know, people could construe it as bad. Fair enough. Anyway, back to the match. Anyway, happening. we are into Sorry about this that. match, and now good, good day, Nick. Really taking it to Fan Fox here. Yeah, people thought he would have lost a step when he died, but he's been just as good, hasn't he? He sure has. <laughs> Straight in. Really for... good tag team acumen being shown off already by Oof. these two. Look at that. The fruit will kick to the chops. Yep. But Dress for Business, well known for their resilience and staying in matches and then finding a way to win. Really, the uh, the only true blemish on their uh, on their card was that loss in the finals of the Two Heads Championship Number One Contender <laughs> Tournament, in which they just got straight up outsmarted by Das Hot. And uh, I don't think they're gonna ever let something like that happen to them again, Jim. No, that was huge, wasn't it? And then they beat the they beat the fucking rats after that, didn't they? But they they did. They 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 absolutely did. But not for the titles because they lost that yeah. match. Silly they boys. would. I I mean, there's there's absolutely no claim from any other tag team to have a better shot at taking those titles off the fucking rats. But six feet down under, winning tonight could throw a monkey wrench into that one. Absolutely, yeah. Edible it seems to have uh, made me a little bit more lucid. Yeah, feeling pretty good. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Thirsty as fuck though. <laughs> Just try to watch your eggs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a throw! I hate the Cole calls every suplex. What a throw! <laughs> does he? Oh god, yeah. I mean, I don't know if he still does, but when I watched it like fucking ten years oh, ago. Oh, I thought you meant in the game. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, every time anyone does any kind of suplex, he just goes, "What a throw!" And I'm like, "Oh, fuck off, Cole." <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Gdanik having a hard time getting his head around the gigantic <laughs> lemon that is lemon is good at noggin uh, to get that move, and, and uh, lemon able to fight his way out of it and well, drags him into his corner again this is why these guys are at the top of the tag division almost yeah I tell you what Lemon's muscles are brilliant aren't they it's incredible that he didn't have them for so long but now I can yeah. imagine without them 
<laughs> I tend to agree. <laughs> <laughs> Lemon Cun is fucking jacked. <laughs> I, I love that on his sides, though, it's very obvious that, that <laughs> they're still opening on his brain. <laughs> All the zest. Oh, Alright, and uh, Gdanek able to fight his way back into his own corner. But can he take advantage of that? Seems like it. Look at that. Just keeping FanFox isolated right now. Yeah. Quick tag in. And here we go. These two really showcasing. Oh, look at this maneuver. <laughs> Beautiful <laughs> stuff. Inverted atomic drop. Big boot. And now <laughs> Night Demon just needs to keep FanFox away from that tag and keep him isolated. They can really do some work on it. Yeah, really or getting he could just uh, doing a sexy head dry head. hump him into oblivion here. <laughs> Oof. That is uh, usually how most of my uh, sexual experiences go, Jeff. <laughs> yep. <laughs> he didn't do his blood spit afterwards to really sell it. <laughs> well, it's not that time in the month for fan fox. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, what a. What oh, a nice counter, move. though, by fan fox. He's got to think about a tag out here. Yeah. And he is. Nope. <laughs> nope. Oh, so oh. close. But, oh, he just went in for that jumping neck breaker instead. And now, oh, is he calling for the rock bottom? Maybe. Shocked. Shocked that Fan Fox has been allowed to keep that move. Uh, generally speaking, <laughs> if it's a move that Jimmy Fantastic has done the ring, everyone else gets blocked out of getting to use it. No surprise there. As we learned earlier tonight, <laughs> the upper management vastly preferring Jimmy Fantastic's in-ring action to anything else, regardless of what the JFW universe says and wants. But there's the people's elbow by Fat Fox. And just the two count as Gdanek is able to break it up. Yeah. Yeah, the people's the people's elbow there from Fat Fox. Oh, nice crossbody, and then the big punches rain down, and Night Demon just completely fired up right now. Oh, here we go. Oh, taking a big bite of the fingers. Oh, boy. Oh, what a slam. Love that move. No, no, no. But nice, uh, nice running drop kick in the corner there. And Fanfox really putting up a fight. But he desperately needs to get out of the ring right now. Yeah, he's going to make the tag to Lemon. And he's dangerously close. Night Team and not doing too much to get him away from the danger zone there. Well, now he is. Oh, there we go. Listen to you, look. Brilliant. Stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Smart, smart com competitor. Goes for the tag, and we see another tag team move. Looks like we're going. Nope, never mind. <laughs> and man, Fanfox has taken a lot of blows to the head today. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be. A bad day at the office for Fanfox, isn't it, really? He's taking yeah, so much punishment. Yeah, desperately needs to get a tag out. He'll be getting a big dose of the brain worms after this match. <laughs> Is that a strike for coach? <laughs> oh, no! Crosses those shins over, slams the knees down. That can't feel good. Ooh, but nice European uppercut by Fan Fox. And gets uh, control. Ganana gets him over to his corner. Again, though, really needs to stop with the offense and just go for the tag out. Oh, it looks like he wants to, but he can't work out how to get yeah, past him. Yeah, having some problems. Like a rebel and coach. He's gonna that pay, hasn't read and he's going to pay for that misstep. Sorry, like a rebel coach that hasn't read the rule book. He just doesn't understand how to get past. I couldn't resist that. <laughs> oh, he's going to tug! Yes, he's done And it. there it is, the hot tag in the slowest way possible. <laughs> you love to see it. Yep, and now oh, this is our first real look at Lemon is good in this match. And uh, misses, misses with the big splash in the corner. 
And now Gdanik, uh really recovered quick there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shoulder charges Lemon out of the ring, and Lemon is good as in trouble uh, just a few moments after getting tagged into this match. <laughs> yeah. Instant domination. Away we go. Oh, oh the, the big stomp. Yeah, I know you do. The big stomp there. Oh, look at Danny. Not bothered. Oh, what a maneuver. Oh, and Lemon climbing for the tag out to Fan Fox. And there it is. Will Gdanik tag in? <laughs> oh, nope. <Christ>. Lemon. A <laughs> single punch just puts. Oh, man. Lemon <laughs> taking it to Gdanik right now. He's fired up. Holy shit, that's brutal. Well, if Dress for Business can come away at the win, it is uh, very much because of this heroic performance by Fan Fox. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a oh. what a DDT that is! That DDT, the way, the, exactly the way he does that DDT, like kind of spike DDT. That's that's what I did when I tried to suplex my friend at my house when I was a kid. Oh god, <laughs> yeah. that's not what you. That's not the result of a suplex that you want. No, no, I wasn't as strong as a wrestler, and he wasn't as agile as a wrestler. So I was gonna say, I was gonna say, most of a suplex involves your partner doing the jumping. <laughs> All right, uh, I shouldn't feel so bad then. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go, sharpshooter. He's yeah, in locked in on Gdanik. He's in trouble here. And uh, nope, releases it. Uh, Night Demon wasn't coming in the ring, so I think he he knew Gdanik could hold on to it. Yeah. Oh, he went in there, but wasn't required. Gdanik managed to kick out. Oh, what a counter! Yeah, absolutely. And now a, a big tag in to Lemon. This didn't go so well for them last time. Let's see if it does better here. <laughs> well, I thought he was going to go for the half crop there. But... I, I did too. I think he knows better, though. I think he knows. You start trying to take that move, you're going to get buried pretty quick by the upper minute. <laughs> Oh, big monkey flip coming. There it is. Mm. Oh, Night Demon oh, screaming but... for the tie and gets it. Yeah, smart move by Gdanik. Knew exactly where in the ring he landed and able to steal a tag there. Ooh. And Night Demon just in. Night Demon just punishing Lemon right now. Vicious neck crank. <laughs> Oh, but the, the lemon head is smashed. But now, uh, night if night if you know if uh, six feet down under are gonna win this, it's gonna be it's oh Ooh. huge Alabama slam. It's gonna have to be because of Night Demon's efforts because he has no partner to tag out to right now. Yeah. Ooh, oh, and now speak of the uh, undead bull, uh, <laughs> Gdana gets back in the ring, but just a second too late to protect the pin. Yeah, but he has. And now, has sent, all of a sudden, Dress for Business in huge trouble here. Yeah, he sent Fun Fox to the outside. He, he will not be able to interfere if there's another pin soon. <laughs> Yeah, very evenly matched. And look at that. This is like uh, this is another top tier match. Back to back excellent matches on Friday night. Stand firm, where Absolutely. all of the best competitors in the JFW seem to be found. <laughs> oh, and there's the rock bottom. Oh, boy. And Night Demon, uh, can Gdana get in there and break this up? I think that's their only hope. He does. Woo. Night Demon in serious trouble. Oh, 
Fox back in, but oh god, he's taken a lot of damage, hasn't he, Phantom Fox? Yeah, he absolutely has. All right, and look at this. Night Demon busted open from the big stomp. Not tagging in, though, is Fan Fox, and not really working over Night Demon until just now. <laughs> And that is going to be a mistake that he pays for very quickly. Yeah, massive knee. Oh, and here we have it. The AA. Maybe two of them, actually. Yep. Yep. And, yeah, you're right. Night Demon in with two, the double AAs. And now all this is going to come down to is can Lemon is good break this pin up. Oh. Lizzie's not even going for a pin, Jim. He's going to do uh, his fucking comeback. Just, just, just because fuck us. <laughs> and now he's probably going to go for a pin. <laughs> Whoa, nice. I think uh, Knight even might have made a critical error in yeah. uh, extending this out instead of going for the pin. But he does have Fan Fox a little further away from the corner now. Yep. And he's doing his can trade yep. not move any oh my god that looks brutal doesn't it yeah it sure does can can uh this and oh, oh look at that gadanik perfectly guards it Fox still able to kick out after all that punishment That's unbelievable stuff oh, as well. What a match this is! Oh, and now Fan Fox busted open. Man, this is a this is a stellar, stellar match. <laughs> and uh, Night Demon, not knowing what else to do, tags in Gadanik to see if he can find the answer to the question that is Fan Fox. Oh, Lemon nowhere to be seen right now. <laughs> Apparently he doesn't need him. <laughs> Fan Fox knows. He knows if he goes down for the three count here, their lives get needlessly more complicated. They have to find a way to win this if they want to stay on pace to get those belts around Ooh. their waist, Jim. He is, looks like the koala clutch is about to come in, though. Uh, it sure does. And there it is, the koala clutch locked in. Oh, Can boy. Fan Fox hang on again? Can Lemon get in there to break this up? Oh! Fan Fox into a pinning predicament here. Just the one count. What a counter by Fan Fox. <laughs> Incredible. The Fox is all sort of my mind. It sure seems that way, doesn't it? Yeah. Looks like Lemon's back on the apron. Yeah. Hardest oh. part of the ring. Fan Fox having a little bit of a misstep here. Seems to be really upset. Wow, really upset with Night Demon. Takes him off the apron. Oh no, but he pays for it because Gedanik rallying. God, this is so back and forth. It's crazy. Yeah, it? what a great match. Were this any other show, Jim, I'd call this the match of the night, but we just had to sit through the match of the night. So I don't even know what to say here, Jim. I think this is better than the previous match, to be honest. <laughs> well, uh, taste being what they are, I can understand why you'd say that. Oh, but here's Lemon this with a quick be it. pin. Yes. Oh, and it is. And dress for business. Outlast. Six feet down under and keeps on the path. They are your winners. That was one hell of a win. Lemon barely did a lot much work in that, <laughs> but he came away and able to get that pin right when they needed it the most. And, I, man, I want to see these two back in the ring against each other again. Yeah, that was incredible, wasn't it? Absolutely incredible. That sure was. Six feet down under suffers their first loss after breaking onto the scene earlier this week. But, I mean, you can't really take that match away from either team. Just endlessly, endlessly entertaining, Jim. Yeah, incredible stuff. Incredible match.
All right, and the action continues. Bleeding Hippie versus Antsy. Uh, Bleeding Hippie, a Stal Ward member of the Plim Plum. Wait, Gorilla, it looks division. like somebody's somebody's behind you trying to get your microphone. Oh, 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 no. Oh, God, I thought I smelled haggis. It looks like McNaughton's here with some words to say, Jim. Thanks for the easy win there, Calcium. Maybe if you spent less time hosting the Graham Norton show and more time wrestling, you wouldn't have got your arse kicked so bad. You like to sit there and claim that you're Cobra Kai. The only way you're Cobra Kai is if you're the fat guy at the end selling t-shirts. And after that match, you better retire the name Calcium Cars, because you look more like the Milky Bar Kid, except even that specky twat would have been a tougher fight. Yeah, yeah, you like to go on about how I'm Scottish. Well, the last time that we invaded England, we penetrated the castle of York. Tell Wendy the invasion's on its way to her. And speaking of Wendy, she was the only person I felt bad for. Imagine having to watch your Poundland shitter husband get wrecked by the flying Scotsman. Even she was going, ding, got one when you ate that super kick. Just you let Wendy know anytime she wants some Scotch beef, I'm here waiting for her. <laughs> wow. Oh, what? I don't know what to do with that, Jim. Things have really gotten personal between those two. And uh, sure enough, I am finally being told we are getting... Calcium versus McNaughton in the ring, not backstage, but in the ring, in our main event. The real question is, where's Wendy going to end up? That's uh, Calcium's uh, wife and also, uh, you know, a longstanding manager. But uh, it sounds, it sure sounds like she's uh, fucked off for a little bit of uh, side play uh, with uh, you know, maybe a little bit of moonlighting as a manager elsewhere. So I uh, can't wait to see what's going to happen there. But that is an emotionally charged main event between two men, former tag team partners, co-lovers of a single woman. <laughs> I don't know, Jim. I don't know if our ring can handle that. <laughs> oh, Wendy's ring. Oh, 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 man, but before we get to that, we have to go through the Plum Plum Cruiserweight division. We've got Bleeding Hippie versus this man, Antsy, coming on, coming into the JFW recently and really tearing it up. I thought we'd stop talking about Wendy's ring. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, boy, Jim. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> we don't know, Tony, but we're going to find out when their match starts in the main event later tonight. Yeah, you know, I got to tell you, if I was a speculating man, uh, if you're going off of uh, credibility and performance, uh, it's got to be McNaughton. He's won every match that Calcium uh, against Calcium as well as pretty much dominated to win all of the matches when Scott Milk was a tag team. But, you know, five years of marriage and 15 kids or whatever it is for Calcium and Wendy, it's hard to throw that away over, uh, you know, a, a cheap date, a little bit of scotch, and uh, <laughs> and uh, a couple wins in the JFW. So we'll have to see what happens. Fuck me. Sorry about that. Whew. I was crying then, you know. <laughs> <laughs> now I just oh, cough my guts out. I always cough my guts out when I laugh too much, which is a bit of a shame, but there you go. Right, here we go. Yeah, Ansi versus Hippie. Oh, you don't have to tell me, McNaughton. <sighs> um, I'm a Glenn Morangy guy, personally. <laughs> oh, man, I wonder if we could do you Wendy's thoughts on him somebody. That would be incredible. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be Calcium turning on the camera and her going, Turn that fucking camera off. I didn't want any part of your make beliefs. <laughs> Brilliant voice acting, Gorilla. Thank you. <laughs> oh, shit. This is... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. 
Oof, these two can't get further away from each other quick enough. But anyway, we do have a match, and we do have two top competitors that do deserve a bit of respect here. That is Bleeding Hippie versus Antsy. Thus far, pretty even. Antsy, a newcomer, but he has just dominated in his matches. But he has yet to face the nearsighted uh, uh, onslaught of Bleeding Hippie. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's actually one one undefeated in JFW, Ansi is. But uh, this is quite the test, isn't it, Hippie? <sighs> Thanks, McNaughton, and hello, Frosty. We <sighs> got a uh, shirtless picture of Bleeding Hippie to be able to make sure we got the tattoos exactly right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so very subtle tattoo, isn't it? Yeah. I wanted to make it even bigger like the rocks tattoo. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> well, stretching out Antsy here. Oh yeah. Hello Mayhems. Hello Mayhems. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, McDonald, because he's he's a quidditcher, isn't he? So he's got he's got a helmet, presumably. <laughs> You're only gonna get hit by a flying broomstick, do you? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I tend to agree with you, Frost Lord Army. <laughs> hey! Oh, oh boy, maybe uh, Antsy been watching a bit too much film of Bleeding Hippie. I'm trying to steal some of his moves, but uh, you need those glasses to really be able to pull off the true uh, depth perception damage uh, of, of, of a Bleeding Hippie attack. Yeah. Oh dear. He could have that, couldn't he, Bezo? Yeah, that's a good idea. And only if he also has a seven year old draw it just like Brock did. What, sorry? The the fucking sword thing that Brock has on his chest looks like it was drawn by a seven year old. Do you reckon? No, oh, it's terrible. <laughs> it's fucking awful. <laughs> I've never really looked at it. Oh god, if he's doing his move. Oh here we go. Sets him up. Hippie, this is how he wins his matches. No! Oh, no! He decides not to go for it. Is it possible he's changed his glasses prescription? Oh, man. Or he just wanted him a little bit closer. Good call. <laughs> that looked a little bit hopeful. Now Hippie's got him lined up perfectly right there. That's well within Hippie's reach, I think. Yeah. I think and here it comes. Yes. Oh, my God, he hit it. Oh, my God, Jim. What is happening right now? Oh, God. Ansi is fucked. <laughs> Ansi is just... We've never seen that in matches before. But here it is. And there's the finisher. And I think that's all she wrote that's for Ansi. What? Wow. Powers out of it, Ansi. To be fair, we've only ever seen Hippie win matches in which he misses that big springboard. That's so... Crazy. He might have been thrown off by that a little bit. Didn't know what to do, but oof, nasty submission coming here. <laughs> wow, Bessel. Rude. <laughs> I'm going to report you to Rebel Admins for being mean to me. Hey, hey, look, Jim, you can't blame him. He wasn't criticizing uh, Jim's uh, mic skills. It was just the message he was delivering. The <laughs> entire JFW universe is just up in arms about this blatant disregard for the rule of law and this blatant, this flagrant just, oh, uh, just no, I can't even talk, I'm so mad about it. <laughs> it's just, just everyone tweeting left, right, and center about how corrupt the JFW upper management is. And uh, that's our future. This is what we're stuck with, so what are we to do but uh, but to hope that we can find a hero that can, uh, that can end this reign of terror before it really gets going. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point, Bezel, yeah. Oh, dear me. Oh, what a maneuver. And Antsy has recovered from that onslaught by Hippie. Very, very, very surprising. I thought that match was over. Yeah, so did I. We, I think we all did. Yeah, but now the action spills outside, and Antsy takes a big dump right on... Wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> takes a big dump onto the outside. That's the hardest part of the outside. <laughs> Oh, what a chop! Nancy there with the uh, Capitol Hill. 
Well, except for Tarsus, because he has no balls. Yeah, that's true. Tarsus has no <laughs> balls. By his own omission. Yeah, that's why. I think that's why uh, Jimmy Fantastic picked on him to beat the shit out of him, because he had no balls. He knew he wouldn't be uh, much resistance. Well, or maybe Jimmy had been um, maybe Jimmy had been in the costume earlier than we thought, because uh, that did sound about as clever a retort as uh, as Jimmy on the mic promo would yield. Wow, that's a, that's a shocker. One, two, Strange, it. we haven't heard oh. from Tarsus whatsoever since Sunday night. He's got to be fuming, but you did hear Mr. Jim McMahon come out and say, Tarsus, stay the fuck away from this. Your services are no longer needed in this title picture, and if you do, you're fired. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty incredible, wasn't it, from from Mr. Jim McMahon? I'm sure he's very proud of uh, thinking of saying that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that took a. Oh, here we go again, though. Hippie looking to go two for Will two. Will he miss it this time? He's got to miss it if he wants to win the match. Hey! <laughs> all right, now this is all all but over. Hippie firmly in demand here. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Oh, now Hippie going up top. Antsy needs to counter this, or this could be a lights out. Could indeed. What's he going for? Whoa. No, the big jumping neck breaker. And now Hippie <laughs> looking to end this, I think. Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> Here it comes. Oof. <laughs> See, ya. See ya. Sends him outside of the ring. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Leviosa. That's how Dave would say it. Oh, oh, wow. Hippie just completely no sold that. And uh, Antsy might have an opening here, but he's got to get something going. Oh, boy. What's it's this? the Dave of Magic. Yep. Oh, oh, no, but instead the spinning DDT busts open Antsy. And now Hippie looking for another finisher. Ooh, this could be it, Jim. Yeah, this is. I think this is going to be it. Ooh. Oh, a backstabber. What? No, the two count. What the hell? Ansi is so tough. That's ridiculous, isn't it? He's taken the, the hit, the miss, and two finishes. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And Hippie trying desperately to figure out the answer to Ansi's Chamber of Secrets. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was good, Jim. You know it. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 Night Demon, believe me, that was uh, that was on my mind. All these competitors, both Skuramezzo and Kaki, have really upped their game. That's just what happens when you bring in quality stuff mid-show. You're going to get a quality conclusion because all these guys are competing with each other's matches to really stand out for the night. And uh, we saw it in the tag match. We're seeing it right now. Just top-notch stuff. When you get guys like Skuramezzo and Pocky in the ring to start things off. <laughs> we shall not be pinned. <laughs> oh, and Ansi with a hopeful pin here, I think. Yeah, hadn't done quite enough. I think we're going to need to see uh, Ansi dig down deep here. This is incredible, isn't it? Yeah. You know, you know what this means. Our main event is just going to be like a three-second squash match again. It's going to be difficult, <laughs> though, isn't it? It's a triple threat, the main event. Oh, right, right, right. I'm sorry. I keep thinking, uh, I keep thinking it's not the main event. And there it is. Hippie gets the pin on Ansi. Ansi suffering his first loss. But again, you can't take anything away from either of these guys. Hell of a match. But Hippie <laughs> continues to just hold up a lot of that middle part of the Flim Flom loser weight division. And you gotta believe 
there's got to be some gold in his future at some point soon. Yeah, he's been incredible, hasn't he? He's got to get his title shot at some point. And that is it for ANSI tonight. Bleeding Hippie with the win. And now it is time for one hell of a match. Oh, and that is Calcium and McNaughton. And look at this. It looks like Wendy has announced that she is coming out with McNaughton as his manager. Calcium is not going to be pleased about that. These two guys went toe-to-toe -to -toe just a few nights ago, and McNaughton won easily, must have won over Wendy, both physically and contractually. <laughs> but now Calcium looking to get the uh, to even the score and uh, take it to his former tag team partner and then probably, hopefully, take it to his own wife. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> Oh boy, what a shocker. Poor old Calcium. Calcium fighting out of the Cobra Cup dojo. And here we go, Joe. <laughs> oh, dear me. <laughs> it's the... Oh God, this is brilliant, right? Because, of course, uh, McNaughton was trained by... Uh, What's he called? Shawn Michaels. It's the yep. super kick versus the super cup. <laughs> My disdain, at least, at least we're finally using the word cup appropriately. <laughs> My disdain for the use of that word by people as an insult makes no fucking sense. But in this exact storyline, that is exactly what's happening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good is, lord, does it fill me with rage watching like 14 year old virgins on the internet calling people cucks? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh boy, here they are. Oh my goodness. And just to throw it in Calcium's face, doing the former Scotch Milk entrance together. <laughs> Let's see if they're better synced up. Oh, and sure enough, Wendy facing the ring just to really stare down Calcium, let him know what's going on. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> I think Calcium missed the lead into this. Yes, that was probably just as well. <laughs> Don't scroll up and chat. <laughs> Don't watch the bar. <laughs> but Wendy has chosen McNaughton as her competitor to manage for the night, and we'll see. <laughs> McNaughton didn't need any additional help in uh, beating Calcium a few nights ago. <laughs> oh, dear me. <laughs> and they are Eiffel Towering right there. <laughs> oh, dear me. <laughs> and here we go, and Calcium, oh, oh no. Wow. Runs into the big Scotsman and can't get anything done. And there's a quick pin. <laughs> no way. Oh. <laughs> I thought for, I thought for a second that was gonna happen. Oh, so that was and it. another one back by Calcium now. And these two, wow, you can see the sparks flying. You can see the fumes coming out of them. They are heated and they are taking it to each other right now. <laughs> That just would have been the best. Yeah. I mean, not not for calcium, but <laughs> it would be amazing. We're well, really up for this, isn't he? Calcium. Uh, the first yeah. Well, I mean, wouldn't wouldn't you be? He's got to he's got to show he can still get it up, Jimmy. He's what like fifty <laughs> seven? About that. <laughs> fifty seven kids anyway. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> with his uh, with his uh, estranged wife standing across the ring, managing uh, a younger, beefier man, uh, you got to believe he's got nothing but motivation to prove that he can, in fact, get up for this match. <laughs> Why is this no mercy tattoo? I don't understand. Hmm. Never mind. It's weird, isn't it? Whoa! What a close one. Yeah, and Mick Naughton uh, firmly in control here. <laughs> firmly in control. <laughs> <laughs> I use the words I use, Jim. <laughs> Sounds like you were talking about something else there. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm I'm not one to to put a lot of innuendo out there. <laughs> oh dear me! Oh, look at that <laughs> knees to the back. Driving his knees into the small of McNaughton's back, and then rolls him over for a pin. Ref a little slow there, but that was never really going anywhere. Now calcium needs to get something going. Oh God, brutal! Knees him right in the face. <laughs> this is good stuff from Garcia, isn't it? Much better than last last time. Yeah, oh yeah, stuff. yes. He has gotten past the one minute mark, which means he's done <laughs> better than he did in their first show match. <laughs> really up for it this time, Calcium. Oh, but what a chop. <laughs> but he's still getting a bit thrown around by by McNaughton. Oh. Oof. Just right right fist and right off the apron. Yeah, driven off to the outside. Oh, you avoid that though and scurries back into the ring. I I hope Calcium wins and then uh, <laughs> he, he and McNaughton kiss and uh, oh, oh god. god, the kilt up. He's just showing Showing calcium what he's what he's doing <laughs> after the show. Uh, oh no, and McNaughton thinking top rope. This could be a oh, mistake. Boy. Big pile on here, I think. Oh. Oh, the big elbow drop. Gives calcium a good look at the goods on the way down. <laughs> yep, absolutely. Oh and the two count kick out. Calcium stays in it. Oh boy. <laughs> Huge backbreaker. Oh, and he's tuned up the band. Oh, he sure is. Here comes the super cock kick. <laughs> oh. And there it is. <laughs> <laughs> and this could be all over. Oh, no, and he digs deep. He thinks about all 18 of his children, all 17 years that he's been married, and there's just a little bit more fight in the old man. Can he take it to the Scottish terror? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh my goodness, we've got a top rope maneuver coming and I have to let my dog in. Oh god, his head went right up McNaughton's kill for that top rope maneuver. Burying <laughs> you with my beanie on. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, look at this, the count is on. Hard leg kicks from Calcium. Yep, you can see that MMA background coming down. Absolutely. Oh. oh, and he's he's fired up now. Now he thinks he can end this. Oh, boy. Oh. Showing the world. <laughs> Wendy looks away at that. <laughs> yeah, interesting. I noticed that, too. Oh, but now, look at this. The Kakshasa. No, yeah, here comes the Kakshasa, Jim. Ooh. Oh, boy. This could be it. Oh, God, and right, just sticking <laughs> McNaughton's balls in Wendy's face doesn't get the three count. <laughs> not yet, Fiction, not yet. And you can see, oh, Calcium looking oh. to really inflict punishment, takes off the turnbuckle pad, 
Probably will never go near that turnbuckle again, though, if we have uh, if we know our JFW history. <laughs> yeah. He does do one of the most favorite moves in the JFW, by the way. Absolutely. Ooh. Look at this oh, a beautiful punchy-kicky combo there. <laughs> punchy-kicky. Even though there's no kick. Yeah. Oh, and he's letting McNaughton know exactly what he thinks of him. Has a word with Wendy before uh, doing... Dude, he's letting him still know, Jim. He's just constantly letting him know what he thinks of him. <laughs> and there's that dangerously exposed uh, turnbuckle. Yeah. Still nothing. But McNaughton reasserting dominance. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, I think the emotions got a little bit uh, ahead of the calcium there. Oh, oh no! And yep, now he's completely fired up. Oh. Boy. Oh, the counters. The counter from Calcium. Well done. Yeah, Calcium. absolutely. Has to go down to his technical background to stay with the much bigger man. Ooh, look <laughs> at this, Jim. Never seen this before. Got him hung up on the ropes, punching him in the kidney, oh. and then the backstabber. Beautiful combination there. Yeah, great stuff. This is the best performance of Calcium's career, I think. Yeah, it absolutely is. Wow. He's got to stop with this bullshit, though. <laughs> and here's a hopeful pin, I think. This is it? Oh! No, I just he got a him. two count. A late kick up by McNaughton. I thought he got him. Oh no, and now the counter's on by McNaughton. Oh, Big huge. DDT. And right in for the pinfall. Oh, the ref distracted though for just a moment. And the kick out. What distracted the ref? Oh, maybe it was Wendy. Ah, Wendy's over on the other side, I think. Which maybe side not. is she on? She you should think? be over on the right corner there. Well, she is now. Yeah, who she knows didn't where move. she no, was she a minute ago? Move. The camera wasn't on her. Couldn't really see what the ref was looking at. Something suspicious happened there to save Calcium. Can he get the win, though? Just the two count. And the ref again distracted. What's going on? Yeah. Oh, he's, oh, it's the he's, turnbuckle. Yes, yeah, the turnbuckle. Oh, he's worried about that turnbuckle. Uh, <laughs> interesting. That was uh, some, uh, <laughs> some 4D chess being played by Calcium <laughs> to stay in, on top of this match. And now the ring has been fixed. Yeah, and McNaughton counted Calcium's finisher throughout all of that. So yeah, rough times for Calcium. Yeah, but again, all of that tech, beautiful uh, technique and in, uh, in, in strategizing, keeping him in this match. But he's got to seal the deal here. Yeah, you really need to hit that finisher. I think. Oh boy. Oh boy. I think this. Uh, I think uh, this could be bad though. Oh. Yep. The super kick busts him open, falls on him for the pin. <laughs> and that is it, and the war is over, and McNaughton, once again, the victor. Oh, boy. I don't know what, what the future holds for Calcium, but I have a feeling at barest of minimum, he has probably got a couple more kids that he's going to have to feed, and uh, no more manager in his corner. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see what. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, who knows what's going to happen with this, uh, this pair of... Unbelievable. But it would be... I would be hard-pressed to believe Calcium, after suffering two losses in one week and losing his wife, effectively, to... <laughs> Two McNaughton would have the uh, audacity to come after him a third time, but you never know with Calcium. Uh, not the sorest of losers, or sorry, not the uh, the uh, most graceful of losers out there. So uh, I have a feeling there's more to come from these two. Yeah, yeah, it was a hell of a match, wasn't it? Hell of a match, and who knows, who knows what will happen. But now, while we stew over that for the weekend, we have one more match. 
in our main event, a triple threat, a, a, a glorious champions triple threat. We have both the first ever and current world heavyweight champion, Tony plays poorly against the man who beat him for the title, Adonta Kellis against the man who beat him for the title, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Unseen Walker against the man who beat him for the title, Tony plays poorly. Yeah, this is basically yeah, That title's business. been passed around as much as Wendy, uh, Wendy uh, has. <laughs> This is basically raw paper scissors, these three, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. A, a straight up triple thread match. All three of these guys champions, all three of these guys looking to get that belt back. Well, except for Tony, who has it. <laughs> Whew, should be something now. You gotta wonder is Tony Blaze poorly already fretting an Ardback cash in of money in the ass? Because he could jump in if Tony were to fight through his, all of these men. Or it doesn't matter, win or lose, but Ardback could just cash in on a beaten up Tony and win the match. Yeah. And the belt. Yeah. <laughs> Get off my fucking pitch, boy. <laughs> yeah, it's a game of Tony Dwarf <laughs> Turtle. <laughs> Don't be done. And yeah, if Tony plays poorly was not this match, you'd have to say that Adonta Kellis is the greatest uh, world heavyweight champion in JFW history. But how can you take it away from the two-time world heavyweight champion who scored a win over, well, not Adont, but <laughs> over, over the guy who beat Adont. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, done the Royal Rumble specialist when they still worked. <laughs> yeah, in the dark days or in the in the glory days, excuse me, when yeah. Royal Rumbles actually worked. Yeah. Yeah. God, wouldn't it be great if they make a new game in like 2030 or something, where Royal Rumbles actually work? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was giving them. I might be dead, but I don't. I wouldn't trust them to make one that worked before then. <laughs> I might be. Yeah. Thanks for that, thought, Unseen Walker. Anyway, here's this fucking Scottish Mexican cunt. <laughs> Absolutely, walking right out of the stage. Unbelievable <laughs> leg strength to do that. And there he is, Unseen Walker. He's a fucking meanie, isn't he, Unseen Walker? Not quite the storied championship run of the other two, but uh, nonetheless, he still is a former champion. <laughs> I thought it. He'll still be playing a game of Rebel from 2021. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, you ever notice how his eye patch says Walker on it, and it's uh, eye patch, so unseen, unseen yeah. Walker? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought that was subtle enough, but you'd never notice that before. <laughs> Have you seen how he says "kill" on his back? <laughs> <laughs> Wonder what that stands for. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I've noticed that. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> you see now he's ginger. <laughs> <laughs> Go for the kill tattoo. <laughs> oh god. A neuro sausage would definitely have a massive kill tattoo. <laughs> Tony like you. <laughs> nah, he's not big match Tony for these. Is the world heavyweight champion Tony Blaze? Yep. But wrestles rather well. Glorious. 
Tony is waving that belt in front of the former champs, saluting the crowd. He is the leader of Mighty AF, and he is here for his triple threat in our main event. Yeah, and I don't know if you know this, but he's got Mighty AF on his back there. <laughs> 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 oh dear. Right, here we are. The three greatest world heavyweights, I guess, in, in Stan Firm, right? History? The three oh, champs. Yeah. Champion versus. The oh, two his symbol is his initials. I always thought it was a woman's reproductive organs. <laughs> That was pretty subtle. <laughs> oh, we've seen this. We've seen this from a dawn before. Letting two other men beat each other off, please celebrate. <laughs> yeah. uh. All right. See you night, demon. See you night, demon. This has been a long show, isn't it? One forty-five. Oh, yeah, it sure is. Some long old matches. Fucking boiled as well. Oh, look at this! Yeah. Bloody hell! Oh yeah, the power from a dawn, and he doesn't look. You look at him; he doesn't look like a big guy. He sure does have some good power moves. He does indeed. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, Tony already looking for the stunner. Maybe no. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, just drags his face on those ropes. Wow, what a brutal, brutal move. Dirty move from the heroic champ. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Unseen, I think, feeling a little disrespected by the other two. <laughs> <laughs> Making his presence known now. And loading on Tony. On Tony's face. Tosses a don oh. off. Absolutely. Back to Tony. Oh god, he couldn't oh, lift him. Oh boy. Couldn't hang on to Tony there. Gets a light slam for his trouble. Oh boy, what's this? The elbow oh. drop? Yep. Whoa. Yep, big elbow drop. Tony lets him know exactly what he thinks of. Ah! Oh, you don't wow. see Tony go up top often. Big knee drop oh, oh, coming, Tony. baby. Oh, yep. nails him. Hits it. And we see a lovely upskirt as well. Absolutely. A couple of them. But uh, Unseen doesn't seem to be too phased by it. And uh, nice suplex. Drops, drops him right on the shell. Yeah. That's the hardest part of the Adon. <laughs> Looked like he might have bruised his shell, though. It seemed to be in a lot of pain there, Adon. Yeah. Oof. Just kicks him in the shin and flips him down. <laughs> what a fight. But the power, the power of Unseen Walker takes over, and now he's got a dunk one on one as Tony rolls out of the ring. Yeah. Doesn't doesn't get much though, does he? Brutal knee though. I don't know why he's going for these covers. This is not a winning strategy. No, it isn't. Tony back on his feet. And uh, Unseen did not, Unseen did not see him get in the ring, even though he was facing it. <laughs> oh God, he's fucking got him with a thing. <laughs> and he is Mexican Scottish. Maybe a large thug. Maybe you're onto something. Wait, is Wendy Mexican? No. <laughs> but he's half Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> What's he called? Uh, Unseen Walker's apparently half Scottish, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> oh, stunner! Stunner! Yeah. Stunner! But Adon getting in the ring here, he could break this up if he's quick. Oh, And he just... does, just barely breaks it up. And, oh, Tony was not happy about that. Oh, Thought boy. he had him for the three count. Looked like he did have Unseen Walker, didn't he? That was real close. Yeah. But now a daunt in, and a daunt could just win this right now on the weekend opponent. 
<laughs> oh, and here it is. The uh, Adonta Tamer or whatever. Adonta <laughs> Tamer. A Donta Tim is pretty good. A Donta Crab? Wait, no, he's a turtle. Boston Turtle. No, oh, I don't know. Tortuga Tamer. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, it's just that when it, when a large third when 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 Skuro Mezzo did the voice acting for him, he made him half Scottish and half Mexican. No, oh, yeah, because Unseen Walker lives in Mexico, but his character is very Scottish. Yeah, it was not the best of decisions I've ever made, but now we're stuck with it. Yeah. Oh boy, this looks pretty brutal. This yep. move. Yep, it? sending him into the uh, into the ring post there. Yeah. Tony. Oh, well, Tony zero. back on his feet, though. <laughs> oh, oh but a daunt saw it coming. Well, for now through. unseen, but these oh. two, uh, these two countering each other, could buy you some time here. Yeah. And yeah, there counters. you go, unseen, getting back to his feet as a daunt counters out and slams Tony down. Oh. Oh Jesus! Just fucking bulldozes through everyone there. <laughs> Man, <laughs> I'd be picking the wrong guy for the pin though. No, maybe not. Oof. Yeah, I think he had Tony. I don't think he did. I think you've well, got Tony's to do been about, down for a ten count, so he would have had to do about <laughs> as many as many fucking finishes on him as Calcium's got kids to get rid of Tony. Cheeky little pinning attempt there by Tony, but uh, he did not fool on C. <laughs> Trying the uh, the the Drax tactic of if I move slow enough, you can't see me. Yeah. <laughs> that was brilliant. <laughs> and we've seen this oh. chin lock in matches before. Taunting yep. Unseen Walker with the move that beat him. Yep. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh. Well, do you know what? You know what? He, when he did that move, do you know what he said? You can't see me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too bad uh, he's gotten away from that persona that. Oh, look at this, though. Oh, piles on a little bit, little mini piling on there, but no, <laughs> too late on the pin. <laughs> I I definitely heard Unseen Walker go. Burr, <laughs> yeah. Oh, see, I told you, you wouldn't have got to him. <laughs> Whoa. What's this? Nice. What a maneuver. Absolutely. Unseen. Doesn't need to get there, it's only kicks out again. <laughs> Unseen's entire forehead is caved in right now. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, yeah all running of his face. power slam. All of his face, all of his chest, he's just covered in blood. Tony's not gonna be able to interfere here though, this could be it. Nope. Single counter. <laughs> Only a one count. Whoa, nice and now finishing. Unseen looking to pop a finisher into Tony. That's a stunner. No, wait. What's, oh, it's a Dragon oh. Slayer. Wow, look at that. Interesting uh, attack using his own move and then going into the... Uh, the submission move really taunting Tony there, even though Tony did win the belt in a submission match, known for giving up sometimes. <laughs> yeah. But it wasn't this time. Oh, and he nearly answered back with a one, two, three in the middle of the ring. <laughs> uh, Steaming in. I don't know who got hit there, but it looked like uh, Unseen came out of it the worst of the wear. Yeah, Unseen's covered in blood. 
And so are Tony's fists. <laughs> Everyone busted open now. <laughs> no, actually, Tony isn't. No, Tony's just got pe other people's blood on his yeah, hands. Yeah, Tony's got everyone else's blood on him. <laughs> <laughs> and all the action spilling outside now. He's going to suplex him back in here, I think. Beautiful. Close for the pin. Tony's stranded. Just the two count. Everyone getting worn down. Now, this is anyone's match right now. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Really? What Great a Great stuff. Great stuff. This has been one of our just top to bottom best shows Absolutely. in a long time. Other than that that blemish in the middle with 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 Jim Smith, Mr. Jim McMahon coming out and just disappointing the entire universe. I think the rest of the roster knew they had to step it up tonight to keep the fans excited and interesting. And that's exactly what has happened here. Yeah, it has been an incredible show. Oh, Just God. the two count again. Speaking of incredible shows, Unseen Walk is Yeah, <laughs> yep. you beat me to that one. Oh, but Unseen clears Tony out again. He's got just the dot to beat here. But a dot counters out. We have yet to see an adult to bomb. That's correct, yeah. Uh, we might not even need one, though. Oh, Oof, and a two count kick out. Oh, my goodness. Surely now we'll see that. No. No. Can't believe it. Suplexing him right back into the ring. And another pin. <laughs> That's it. And that'll do it. Oh, Dante Kellis pins Unseen Walker. Just wore him down. Everyone ground down to nothing. But un Unseen Walker finally gets the pinned in a three count by Adonte Ellis. And that is a hell of a match to end our show tonight. Odonta Ellis stands tall. He says he is not going anywhere. <laughs> and he's going to be coming after that world heavyweight championship from Tony Plays Poorly. And I can't wait to see what's next for all three of these guys. Yeah, incredible, incredible performance there from Odonta. Great Absolutely stuff. well. That is our show. We have seen all sorts of action tonight. We've seen wives leaving their 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 inferior husbands for bigger, badder men. We've seen just shameless promotions by given out by the upper management, and we've seen Scurametso leading the pack and just <laughs> creating some of the greatest matches in JFW history in a streak of matches in the second half of this show. And that's it for me. I am Gorilla Metso. Thank you for having me, Jimmy. Thank you very much, Gorilla. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.